if you need to, clean the fan if there's dust. Um, this computer has a little bit of dust, but I'm not going to do that right now. Place the motherboard back in, but remember to watch for these wires. Same thing with this wire at the top. And this ribbon cable and this power cable. All right, now you can push the motherboard down. All right, now reattach the wires. Plug in the display. I have no idea if this sticker's gonna stick. I guess it's not going to, so I'm not gonna put it back. I'll replug in this power cable. All right. Oh, we can plug in this ribbon cable since you don't need to plug it in when the palm rest is on top. So grab the blue piece, make sure the white cover is up. Push the cable in. And press the. No, oh, is that in already? Okay, push the cover down. Plug in this sound cable, speaker cable, if you want to pull it like that. Come on. All right, here we go. Next, screw back in the screws for the motherboard. All right, after that, take your palm rest, which is this piece right here, and place it back on top and snap everything together. Okay, reattach the mouse ribbon cable, touchpad, if you're going to call it a touchpad. Plug in the power button cable. I cannot see it. Reattach the screws. Next is the keyboard. Make sure this cover is up. And, oh my gosh, make sure the, all right, cable is plugged in, slide the bottom of the keyboard in first, and then snap the top into place. Okay, make sure everything is snapped together. down, close the laptop, flip it around, and take those screws and pretty much plug them back in. I'll come back when uh, I need to reinstall the hard drive and the uh, memory. So, uh, see you in a little bit. Okay guys, so I'm back and I screwed every single screw back into their places except for the ones that require the parts to be plugged in. So now I'm gonna take the CD drive stick that 
that back in. And it would probably be easier if you flip it this way. Here's a CD drive, stick that in. Hold on. All right. So we're going to take CD drive. Place that back in. Oops, like that. Flip it around, and you're gonna screw the locking screw back to where the CD drive goes. All right, next, I'm gonna take the wireless card right here, stick that in at a 45 degree angle, make sure the wires are not in the way. Press down, well, you don't have to press down yet. Take the screw, easier if you use a magnetic screwdriver like this. Now, you're going to take the gray wire, plug it in at the top, where, the, where that little gold piece is. So, Press down. Same thing with the black one. Just right at the top. All right. So it looks like that. I'll also take this cable and plug it in because that leads to the CD drive. Like that. Take the memory, the RAM, stick that in as well. Stick it in at a 45 degree angle. Press down on both sides. Same thing with the second one. Stick it in at a 45 degree angle like this. Press down. All right, that looks good. Last, you're gonna take your hard drive. This is the second one. Take the screws out. Place it back in, like so. Put the cable back in the little track thing and plug it in. Take the other hard drive, same thing, place it back. I'm going to end the video here and just finish everything up because my memory is running low and then I'll film again when I turn on the computer. Okay, so I put the cover back on. Now the battery is last. Flip the laptop over and let's see if the fan works. Here we go. Hey, there's the fan. I just heard it running. And does it still give me the fan message? No, it does not. Seems like it's a job well done. Temperatures now have an arrow going down, which means it's below the uh, normal temperature, which is good. And that's it. Problem solved. Thanks for watching.